morning, y'all. <laughs> so it is Saturday and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I mean, just look. It's sunny. 64 degrees. Cloudy. 64 degrees. Can't beat it. We're all loaded up in the razor. You guys ready? Yeah. Sorry, I bumped it a little bit, but. All right, Josh, what are you doing? We're gonna go up to Greeny Peak today. So Greeny Peak seems to be a fairly easy trail. And I'm it's gonna be a gorgeous like day, mommy. and it's our last day here in Red River, so we're gonna make the most mommy of it and go see what's up here. Right? Hopefully get some good drone footage of the Razor actually out here. With Greeny Peak's a little bit clearer as far as trees go, so it should be a little bit easier. A little bit of a breeze, but we're gonna have fun. Yep. All right. See y'all later. Of Greeny Peak, we're at 11,145 feet elevation, and that was a fun ride, don't you think? Yeah, I really liked it. So, it wasn't near as long or as far as we thought it would be, it's what yeah. maybe an hour, maybe, if that. yeah, and really wide trails, lots of humps so you can jump, jump. around. And yeah, Everly, it was fun. Everly is not a fan of going fast over the jumps, the rest of us had fun, yeah, we had a good time. So, <laughs> now we're where are we headed. We're gonna go to Cabresto Lake. We're gonna go down the back side of Greeny Peak and see what we can find down there. But it's just beautiful. Lila Bo, over here. Lila Bo. Lila, come here. Come here. Um, but it's just beautiful around here. The views are amazing. The weather's gorgeous. View up here is amazing. It's gorgeous. The weather today is perfect. What's the temperature? 73. Yeah. Mostly sunny. 73 and partly, partly cloudy. cloudy. <laughs> Whichever. Mommy, let's see some ice. Let's see some ice. I don't need it. Okay. Daddy. Daddy. Everybody, now it's my turn. Just can't beat that view. That is gorgeous. You just want to like and then there's the mountains too. And camp, but not really because there's bears. We know how I feel about the bears. All the All right, girls. Huh? Y'all ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go to the lake. Yeah. And go fishing. <laughs> All right, headed to the lake.
country. It's gorgeous. We're on the trail going to Capresto Canyon and Capresto Lake. So we made it to Cabresto Lake, and this place is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Just a second, I'll turn the camera around and show you, but it's about a 12 mile ride from um, Greeny, Greeny Peak. Peak, and I recommend this way over um, Goose Lake. It's a little bit more isolated, a little harder to get to. There are some flies <laughs> that just bit me, <laughs> but just, just look at this. We found us a little spot to sit and Nicole's eating out of her snackle box. We're her. all eating out of our snackle box. <laughs> Everyone's thanking me right now. Yes. It, it is very nice place to have lunch, but look at this place. Just gorgeous. I mean, Goose Lake is definitely worth Maybe. going to see. Okay. Yes, I definitely recommend going. But if you have to pick one, I would definitely come here just for the scenery. I mean, if you want to fish, you can go down here and fish. It's a little harder to get to the bank, but um, Goose Lake's easier in that regard. But yeah. man, you can't beat it out here. It's quiet. Tons of trails. Like, there's a lot of people here. It's not crowded, but it's active. But there's so many trails there's just people like it's quiet we've sat here we have not had one person walk by us we had actually okay. some hikers just yeah, right there's up a here with trail dog. right up here behind us and this this trail is actually accessible by pickup we passed a couple of dodge trucks and a toyota pickup and looked like a some kind of little suv i can't remember but super easy to get to they suggest no passenger cars which i can see why the trucks are going a little slow, but a Jeep would be great. Yeah, perfect for a Jeep or Bronco or Forerunner or something along that lines. The Razor made it easy. Four wheelers and lots of four wheelers. Short, and even, there's even a few sections that you could tell that it, the road used to be paved. So, but I, I highly recommend everybody come up to Cabresta Lake. The fishing is supposed to be pretty good. We forgot our poles today, so. Well, we didn't forget. We just kind of intentionally didn't bring them. Yeah, the girls. We may try when we get back to the town. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just not patient. They they want to throw it in there and immediately catch a fish, and it's just not how it works. So we'll try. We'll keep trying fishing with them, but they're having a lot of fun. Girls, are y'all having fun? Yeah. Everly, are you having fun? Yeah. As <laughs> she has a mouthful of her lunch. Anything? Mama, did you snackle it up? Can I go lead up? Can I snuggle up? <laughs> it's warm. It's warm. Let me feel. The whole family really had a great trip to Red River, New Mexico, and we can't wait to go back. Red River is one of those places that has a little something for everyone. If you have an ATV, a UTV, or a Jeep, there's tons of trails to ride with some beautiful scenery. There's lots of hiking, good shopping. During the winter months, there's lots of skiing. And we had some great food and drinks while we there as well. Now, if you just wanna hang out at the cabin, soak up the mountain air and relax, that's okay too. There's plenty of places you can do that. We did do a little fishing while we were in Red River. We didn't have much luck though. I think maybe the girls just weren't quite patient enough just yet. We were in Red River in August, so the weather was fantastic. The highs during the day were in the low to mid 70s. At night, it was in the low 50s to upper 40s. We hope y'all liked our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of future Gaffer Go Coastal videos. 
Also, you can check us out on Instagram and TikTok. There we have a little more behind the scenes with the girls and just some of our day-to-day. -day. We'll see you guys out on the road.